Hi, this is Lachim Kantiwari. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can add an action icon on your toolbar. So here I have added two action toolbar here, two action icon. And uh, the first one is search bar. Another one is a cart. And if I press on any of these two, it shows a toast here. So let's do it first. So what we need to do first, we need to come into a menu main. So just open this menu main and then we need to create another item and let's keep a preview on. So the first we create a new item and then we are going to give a title to this new item. Since this is going to be a action icon, so there would not be any title there. And let's give ID. So the first one is search. So I'm going to give ID as a search underscore ID. And then I'm going to give an icon to that search. So for icon, what we need to do, you need to right click on drawable and then vector asset and then click on icon. And then what you can do, you can type here search. If you type a search, you will get this search. So this is a black color, but we want a white color. Okay. So for this, and also keep in mind that if you are putting any icon on the action bar or on bottom action bar, then the icon size must be 24. And if you are putting icon for a product, then this icon size must be 48 cross 48, as we have already discussed it into a tutorial number two of this tutorial series. So let's give a name to a search, then next, then finish it. So if you see in into here drawable, a search.xml is there. Now you can change the color with very simply, just you need to select here white color. Now it is white. Now another icon which we want that is a cart. So for cart we need to do a same process. Okay, just type there a cart. Okay. So here is a shopping cart. And then let's type there cart. Click on next and then finish it. So once you open this cart and let's change the color of this cart to the white. Now we are done with the cart and the search. Now let's come back to the main. Okay, menu main. So here we are going to give icon. So the first icon which we are looking is a search. And after this search, now we are going to show this item okay, as action. So type the app colon hit alt and enter and then show as action that is always for the first time, right? Let's close this tag. Okay, great. So now we need our another item. So the another item with a similar manner title would be blank and then ID we need ID as a cart right. So type there a cart underscore ID and then icon we need cart icon right and app colon show as action that is always. 
let's close this okay so if you see here so it will always show these items here into the action bar but this is not actually a professional design technique suppose that if this text is too large then it may interfere with the text and these icons so what you can do instead of writing always you can type here if room right if room means if room is available only then icon would be shown so if you type here if room then there is only one is being shown there but don't worry about that once we run our application both icon would be shown there as a action let it finish installation of new application so see here now if i press on these icons there is nothing is happening there now we need to implement you know the listener for these action so you can very simply add the listener to these action right so come here into a switch case again type there a case so the new case is r dot id dot the first one is search id right again type there toast and this one is search icon clicked and then make a break next case would be r dot id that is cart make again a toast there and here you can say cart clicked right now break it now let's test this so once you run this application it will again take a little bit time great now if click i click on this search action bar you see there search icon clicked if i press on cart then it shows that the cart is clicked right now one more thing i would like to show you suppose that if you are in into different activity and you want to show here a back button right a back button so that is the very simple so what we can do here we can add here you know uh it's something up enable let me see what is that key uh i'm just little bit forgetting that key let me remember that um uh, that uh, you know um yes we need to first here get support so that's the uh get support action bar and then dot set display home as up enable that's the true and now let's run it so once you run it you will see there a new back button would come there see there new back button is coming there now if i click on this back button there is nothing happening right so there is nothing is happening there so what you can do you can add here 
new case so that is r dot id dot home but for that we have to add first the android dot r dot id then dot home right since this home is not available in our xml file that's why we have added android that's the system default and then of course we don't want a toast we want to finish the activity so just finish it and there is no need of a break since the activity would be finished at this point itself now let's run this application and you will see into the emulator new application would be installed and if I press on this one see simply let's check one more time open this and if I press on this back button it automatically closes the application beautiful so that's really great so thanks for watching this video tutorial I'm gonna stop this one here in the next video I'll be showing you how you can implement a drawer right so let me show you drawer what is the mean of drawer I think uh, do we have here a play store let me see if we have I think uh, in play music I think uh, we cannot use it without uh, account can you skip yes so see here you can simply you know the drag it so if you drag it you see there you know here you can add your uh, like a gmail you can add pictures name email addresses and multiple accounts you know so these things right so in the next tutorial i'll be gonna show you how you can add a navigation drawer in your application so thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for next video tutorial and subscribe this channel so that you can get update directly into your inbox